This morning, the New York Times reports workers at a Baltimore manufacturing plant accidentally mixed up the ingredients for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, possibly ruining 15 million doses. The company says none of the vaccines in question actually made it into circulation. Politico reports the Biden administration was aware of the problem two weeks ago, and getting the facility back on track could take weeks. Two, three... It comes as Pfizer reveals that its shot is 100% effective on kids as young as 12. It's now testing the vaccine on children ages 5 to 11. It looks like maybe by the summer there should be vaccine available for the preteen and uh, young teenagers. So parents should be ready uh, to get their kids vaccinated. These will be likely very safe and highly effective vaccines, and it could help kids get through the summer and certainly into school. Meanwhile, a fourth wave of the coronavirus is looming. Hospitalizations nationwide are up 6% in the last week. Still, authorities are easing more COVID restrictions. Georgia's governor is lifting many of the state's limits on gatherings, and New Orleans is increasing both outdoor and indoor capacity limits. More Americans are also traveling. United Airlines now reporting its first profitable month since the pandemic. And Delta will stop blocking middle seats on May 1st to accommodate more passengers. But overseas, a more dire picture. France now extending its lockdown. And in Brazil, cemeteries can't keep up with the bodies. As variants of the virus and a lack of testing fuel a COVID nightmare. ABC's Victor Akendo is in Sao Paulo. COVID testing isn't free in Brazil. So for the poorest people who live in a favela like this one in very tight quarters, one test can cost about a third of their monthly income. Back in the U.S., Sarah Palin is now urging people to take the virus seriously after the former Alaska governor tested positive, telling People magazine, I strongly encourage everyone to use common sense to avoid spreading this and every other virus out there. And the CDC confirms COVID is now the third leading cause of death in the United States behind heart disease and cancer. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.